What's up? I'm back. Luke's here. We're recording. I'm in the same room, just not just me this time. Exactly. We're back together again. The boys we made are amends. Back. Why is Caleb calling me? What? Caleb? No, no. Answer it. We'll get Caleb on. Hey, uh, hold on. What's up, babe? Oh, yeah, I'm chilling. We're recording the podcast right now. Say like, you're on air. Say what's up. Oh, I am? Yeah. If you text me, are you freaking out? Yeah, dude, I was having... <laughs> yo, oh, it, it was... Me? Yeah, it was about you. I was freaking out early. I'm all good now. I was just worried about Kai. I'm going to actually turn down my levels Aww. a little bit. Let me explain why he was worried, but... Oh. <laughs> well, welcome to the podcast again, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb's back. <laughs> Do you have anything to say to the people? I'm, I'm back, but I'm also working. Like, hey, welcome to Little Caesars, guys. What can I get for you? You're a walking ad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to head out. Love you, man. I'm safe, baby. Don't this worry. Is... We're good. <laughs> okay, let me clarify why oh Caleb was gosh. so worried. I drove to Luke this time. I drove to Provo. The first but, time we've done that. Yeah, normally he comes to my to my house. apartment, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or we've been in Provo, but in a studio. Yeah, at the studio for three people. But... The reason why he was so worried is because my phone bill hasn't been able to get paid because I don't need to get into all that right now. But I'm basically attached with a family member, and that family member isn't able to pay the bill right now. So I didn't have service the whole drive. And Luke knew I was coming, but I was like later than expected because I stopped to eat. Shout out Dairy Queen. Uh, They're freaking a- wings. Not the wings. I the got wings. their little chicken finger things. Oh, yeah. Honey barbecue. Absolute not, see, slapper. Now that you're saying that, I kind of want to go get one. Dude, not like right now because I just ate chicken fingers, dude. but... It's good. Uh, it sounds good, but like, like it's, it, I f- this is, sounds like a full on ad. The nearest Frick you, little Caesars. Dairy Queen was popping. Sponsor your boy. No, we I'm got kidding. two walking ads in <laughs> one episode. And it's been ten minutes. Yeah, that's why I stopped. They're like, yo, we gotta film like a ad. No, I'm just kidding. I wish though. Um, I was I was hungry. I got off work, got home, and I had to get Wi-Fi to get the thicken frick thicken. I had to get the thicken address. address. I had to get the thicken address to get to your house. <laughs> my mom said I could sleep over. But yeah, only a few. See, my, my mom said I can come over. Your mom just has to drop me off. Hey, I have cups we can use for wire stuff too. <laughs> so we can have cups. fun while we- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shoot! Oh, my Lanta! The focus ooh, right ooh, just ooh. fell. Oh, my baby! Oh, it did not fall all the way. It just started to slip off, and I it was that like, scared me think, so bad. Think Mufasa before Star <laughs> let him go, and my phone just dropped. We don't have a table to like set things yeah, this on. Yeah, is like, but I low key like it because now I can like move and get mm-hmm. animated instead of like. <laughs> <laughs> this just stresses me so bad. Oh, geez. this. Should I scoot closer? No, it, we could stay back there. Let me just get a little no, tape. Let me, let let me, me like this. Pull it doesn't this. change much. We're fine. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Oh, we got this. Mm-hmm. Just scoot up. Looks fine. Okay, we we're just a little bit closer than normal, but it's not too bad. Look, you can see our reflections. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Let okay. Let me continue. Sorry, I got yeah. ADD. Go ahead. <laughs> so, I didn't have service. I had to eat something. Because I hardly ate anything at work. And so I stopped real quick. It took a bit longer than expected, but I started driving. And poor Luke is like, um, where is this guy? I get here. He's like, dude, just hug me. I was so scared. I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry about it's, that. It's like an hour drive, and it had yeah. been about two hours. Because he texted me at like 12.50 that, okay, I'm heading out. And then it was like 2.50. What time is it right now? It's 3.15. So it was like 2.50. And I was just, I texted. And then I texted him. I was like, Hey, Kai, you good? Just to, like make sure. And it sent green because mm-hmm. of the service. But I, I didn't know that. I didn't have service. So yeah. it was like, I didn't see the text until I got here and connected to your Wi-Fi. Yeah, so I was like, <sighs> and then I texted him again. I was like, Kai? Boop, boop. With a question mark. The funny is I didn't even see that one. I that think so maybe sad. if you call me at my work, I just can't send calls or texts. Okay. But I didn't get your text. But I, I was wh- definitely freaking out of it. <laughs> so I was I was like about to get Chad's number and like text oh, him. Oh, really? Like, hey, hey, is Caleb Kai have okay? It. Yeah, that's but what my I was dad ask. wouldn't know. He'd be like, "I hope so. Yeah, I hope so." Freak my dad out, but no, I'm good. I'm safe. My schedule cooperated this week. Uh, let me get into last week a little bit. Go ahead. Oh, by the way, I'm looking at this. I'm just realizing it goes as we talk. Yeah. Anyway, once you're, once you're like candy candy, and if you go really loud, it goes yellow, and then if it's really bad, you if it I goes go red. really loud, it didn't even get that one. Okay, let me get into last week. Um, so last time I was here, I was with Lauren. Yeah. So you, we thought that was going to be her last week. Mm-hmm. How many she, days after that episode was she supposed to leave? The Saturday. We recorded on okay. a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was supposed to leave that Saturday afternoon. Okay, so three days. Yeah. So not very long. So it's near the end of her trip. Not very long, but then again, that was like the entire duration of our past two. So yeah, we were so hyped to have like six days together. Mm-hmm. Or so we thought. Um, 
it's that Saturday and my dad and like my whole family, it's not just me. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not just me. It's my whole, my dad's like, you sure your mom's going to make you stay? Like you can try texting her and see if she'll let you stay longer. And her mom was like, no, you need to come home. Da da da. But her mom also the night before Lauren and I are putting face masks on being all cute. And then precious self care. It's no big deal. Um, we're doing all that and we're on the phone with her mom and she's like, yeah, so I think I might have COVID. And we're like, Nani? What? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Nani? So we think like, she's, she's huh? <laughs> and so Lauren's like, well, I don't want to go home and get sick, especially because this like, her family's out of town. Like her family was up in Reading, which is like six hours from where they oh, are. The 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 weekend wedding Reading trips, yeah. Exactly. Like the what weekend we joke, wedding. Throw back to episode one. Uh huh. It's just the classic six hour drive. How do y'all do that type of thing? But oh, that thing is shaking and it freaked me out. I yeah, I know. It, it was tipping. I was like, oh. Oh. we keep talking. Oh, I'm just gonna grab my water bottle. So bad. I'm gonna grab my water bottle. My apologies. Um, lo siento, mi amigos. Um, so yeah, Lauren's like. Yes, I don't want to go home, but I was already planning on it. But, like, if I go home, it's just going to be me and you, and I don't want to have to quarantine and get sick because Lauren hates being sick. And I'm also kind of reciting the script she would tell other people. It's like, how take you... you hate being sick? I know, you're the one that hates being <laughs> somebody's, ill. Somebody's like a kink for, like, the common cold. <laughs> <laughs> the kinkinator. <laughs> Behold, the germinator. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Lauren's like, I hate being sick. I don't want to go if my whole family's not even there because her mom was going to go up to Reading with them. So like that's why her mom was waiting back so that way they could just go. But her mom, they ended up going to Reading anyway because Elise is cool. She's fine. Elise, if you're listening, I love you and I'm glad you're okay. But did she have COVID or did no, she just... Okay. No. In fact, like a couple days after, she was totally fine. Oh, but good. that next day, Lauren's like, I don't... I don't want to go home. Like, this is weird. Like, she and I have said goodbye before. It really wasn't just that, but my dad's like, yeah. you really should try. Like, just see. Like, what's the rush for you to get home? Your dad is so chill. I know. I know. My my out-of-state girlfriend from California is like, yeah, just stay a while. Yeah, I love Chad. She's sleeping in my bed for two weeks. Yeah. I wasn't there. Don't worry. But <laughs> <laughs> she's in my bed for two weeks. Two good. weeks, dog. What you want? Yeah, you want my, the smoke, dude? Can you tell my middle name is Chad? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> dude. Cougars, baby. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So we're on the phone with her. I was supposed her plane left. I almost said left. Left at three thirty. I was gonna take her at like one. It's one, and we're calling her mom. She's calling her mom. I'm not really too involved. It's one the same day as the flight. I should be to the airport. Oh, this is like but home we alone felt. Type stuff. We felt because okay. she was texting her mom like, and her mom's like, yeah, maybe. And then she called her mom, and her mom's like. It's not that I don't trust you over there. I'm fine with you staying. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense financially because like Lauren's saying like, I'll just come home Monday when everyone else comes home. And her mom's like, cause you have to pay to move your flight. Mm -hmm. And then La Lauren's mom's like, I don't, that just doesn't make sense financially because it's, it's a decent amount of money just to move it for a couple days. If you're going to stay, you might as well stay another week. And I'm in my room, oh. but I'm not talking. And I just look, Lauren and I both just, that's a whole freaking plot twist. Yeah. Because she's like, yeah, if, come on. Wait. That doesn't make financial sense for you to stay for three days. It does for a week, though. No, it, it's, hey. it's the same price to move it, but if yeah. it was 50 bucks to change the flight. Which it wouldn't make sense for a day or two. Exactly. But for a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, shoot, 50? And I ended up just Venmoing her, like, and I sound like I'm trying to brag, but I was like, nah, I'll just, I'll handle it anyway, like. But her mom's like, talk to Chad. He's smart with money. And I'm like, nah, shucks. That's my dad. But dad, if you're listening, I love you. Um, oh, look at that wholesome hour. Wholesome hour. Everyone loves my, my parents. Don't listen to this. My mom found one of the files on her desktop when I was <laughs> editing at my house. And she went, what is this? Clicked it. And then started watching. And she was like, oh, this is so stupid. And then she got <laughs> out of it. It's freaking, it's the episode of Winnie the Pooh. It's like, <laughs> oh, double cheat. <laughs> Oh, double dude. cheeked up, double cheeked. <laughs> She's, like, She's like, this is stupid. What is that, <laughs> Luke? <laughs> Does your mom sound like that? No, she sounds. Uh -huh. I can't even do my uh, an impression of my own mother. Okay, but yeah, her mom's like, you might as well just stay another week. And then That's Lauren, so Lauren's just like, I mean, yeah, like. And my dad comes in. He's like, after we hang up, and he's like, so. 
And he's all excited. We're like, she's staying another week. And he's like, awesome. Like, freak yeah. Oh, my God. So that's we, so dope. I got another week with my out-of-state girlfriend after only having, like, two and a half days in the past. We're like, the mind you, it's the timing of this. Not just, yeah. like, partway through. We're like, oh, you're staying another week. I should have been driving to the airport while this phone oh, yeah. call was going down. While she was calling the airline, switching her flight, I should have been driving <laughs> to <laughs> the airport. If that didn't work out, that would have been that such a been disaster to That would have been out. amazing. But no, it worked out. Uh, that's shaking still. I know. Heavens. What, what it is is our forward. focus, right? Our, uh, uh, it's a little interface. red box where we plug this and this into. It's and sitting it's on the edge of the desk. Because the wires are off the desk, it's like pulling it down, so it's tilting like this, and it keeps... Like it's gonna fall off the edge. That's what I caught earlier. It's kind of like Michael Jackson, just just. <laughs> Can we um, just harmonize that. That was uh, it was it wasn't a good harmony, but it was a harmony because it, it was two different notes. It was it was there. It was, I, w- I want I want to bring this up really quick. Have at it. Yeah, but okay. that's kind of where I was. I and no, I didn't miss the episode just to hang out with Lauren. I would have. Yeah. Like, I would have recorded. I Luke and I physically could not record for oh, some it reason. Was, it, was, it was like his mornings were free. I was working mornings. His yeah. afternoons weren't free. Yeah, I was so and busy And the times they were, it was like an hour or so. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, that's just that's how long it takes to get to each yeah, other. Yeah, there's so no way it would have worked out. we could record if we wanted to. Unless it was like the Friday. And I mean, it was it was good practice to kind of record on my own. Plus, mm-hmm. it like I really enjoy editing, even if sometimes it's really annoying. So I was like, eh, it, whatever. If, it, it was kind of fun for me too because I felt like being one of you guys. I was like, you're just watching and listening. What do they have to say this I'm week? I'm so sorry, by the way. The YouTube only uploaded 13 minutes of it. I was in a huge rush because I recorded at 12 and had to have it up by three, and it takes like two hours to edit and get it downloaded. So I don't. I honestly don't know what happened to the second half. And then there was a three minute just gap of nothing at the end of the Spotify one. So if you missed the second half of my roasting my own YouTube channel last week, it's on Spotify. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. But um. So I want to go into the stock market real quick. Just one part of it. Do you know what Reddit is? I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Is it? I think we. I think we kind of covered this with Lauren. It's like really mature, well-spoken yeah. people. Yeah, and uh, they like very, to give a lot ver- of good financial advice. Yes, very, yeah. very professional. Not racist. No, no, no. no. Very, very. Yeah. Again, well-spoken yeah. individuals. And they definitely provide for families, and they don't live in their basement. Actually, Loki, the, the, uh, providing for families. There we yes. not gonna, Actually, listen to this. I know what you're about to get into because I heard about yeah, it. Yeah, because I told just, you about it a little bit, and you had heard about it just before. Just listen to stonks. I don't even know that much, but I know this shouldn't have happened. If, if you're not into the stock market, this is still a freaking insane story. Put money in, sell more. Yeah, like, so... If you guys know GameStop, GameStop is literally a dying it's a dying company. Everybody knows a GameStop down the street that went out of business. Same thing with like Blockbuster. Those are all out of business, but we remember those. Same thing with like Barnes and Noble, they're going out of business. AMC Theaters. Wait, uh, Barnes Black and Noble's Park. going out of business? Well, they're just they're just like older. They're it's not true. as much it's... of a thing anymore. You know? Yeah, I guess. Um and so Redditors as a joke. Woo! Yeah, yeah, people on Reddit on this uh community called R slash uh Wall Street Bets, which is an, a group of idiots that just like invest in the stock market they as a joke no actually it wasn't really a joke they they noticed something a couple people noticed something about how many like wall street professionals were um you're good i'm just fixing okay. the camera the, how about like the uh, wall street professional stuff where um putting certain bets and stuff on gamestop to make it crash and stuff like that it's Okay, if you have OCD and you're watching this, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm actually gonna. It do is this. a little bit tilted, but there, 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 there. Is that that's it? the sugar. That it? that it? Um, I think that's good. Uh, that's better. So they were like, okay, every if everybody invests a ton of money into GameStop right now, it will squeeze out the people like the Wall Street actual like the Wall Street people that are trying to crash the stock, and it'll make us a ton of money. And the share value went from forty dollars to three hundred dollars in like a day and a half. And that people were investing their life savings into GameStop. This dude invested nine, like a year ago, invested a million dollars, I think. And he made nine million dollars yesterday. He has like $34 million nine, total. Nine, in a day. That is life changing. From doing money. nothing. From just investing in GameStop. A That's all ago. he did. That's all he did. And he did like options and stuff, which I don't understand. But like uh, this time, he just had 50,000 shares of it. So because it went up by $200, $200 times 50,000, you know. That's insane. And then plus whatever other things he had. That's oh freaking God. bonkers. And then they're doing the same thing to AMC Theaters and BlackBerry and Nokia. What would you even do with $9 million? He has 34 total from that. Just $9 million in a day. That's 
<laughs> Can I you don't imagine have, that? I don't dude. have words for that. Most people don't make that in their lifetime. I know. And you're making that in 24 hours, dude? Just from sitting there? And the guy spoke athletes, out. He was at, like, some I don't athletes know what to make do. that in like a year. And this yeah, guy athlete, made it. Professional this guy, athletes. Yeah, this guy made it in a day. And then there's there's people that are like they invested like twenty thousand dollars and they made forty thousand dollars and they're posting this picture of like these huge profits they made and they're like I'm gonna be able to pay off my student loans now and I can you know write a check for my sister and for my mom I'm like dude oh my god you know it's actually going towards good things now like there's the certain people that are actually putting it towards good things and it's freaking bonkers that just a group of idiots on the internet absolutely destroyed Wall Street professionals. And they're trying to Wall Street is trying to crash the stocks because mm-hmm. they didn't want those to rise, mm-hmm. and they rose more than anything. Like, uh, like let's look at it's GameStop funny. right now. It's funny too because it's GameStop, so it's like you'd imagine they invest and like the best they could do is like thirteen dollars. Yeah, because you try to return anything over there, <laughs> and it's just like oh, <laughs> when you're, you you're when re- you sell it back, you get like a thirty percent decrease in whatever the price is. Like, sorry, if I know it's three hundred eighteen dollars right now, but the best we can do is like twenty. I don't know. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> You can have, like, the cigarette I didn't finish on my break. Sorry, dog. I, I never, ever sold stuff to them because I knew this. Heck no, I barely went there. I went there on occasion, and I maybe bought, like, six games from GameStop. Okay, what day is today? The 27th. So, on January 24th, the stock, so, like, to buy one share of it. Yeah. January 21st, it was $40. January 20... I'm watching this number just skyrocket. He's, like, yeah. sliding his thumb along the graph, and it is just... It looks like... Like gas, yeah. like when you're when you're filling gas, the numbers just it's it does. doing that. It, the, okay, so the thing is, the markets closed fri- uh, on like weekends, so it was closed the twenty third and twenty fourth. But when it opened back up the twenty fifth, it went to one hundred thirty two dollars, so triple the value. That's a day. Then went down back to eighty, and then it skyrocketed in an hour to three hundred ten dollars, and then it went to three hundred seventy, and like, dude. That's freaking. If so back then you could have bought GameStop for three hundred. Dude, yeah. <laughs> if, dude, if you invested a thousand dollars when it was worth forty, you would have had twenty five shares times. Let's see, it went up two hundred eighty dollars. You would have made seven thousand dollars just from investing a thousand dollars. And there's people that, that's just bonkers. Anyway, that was my little rant. I wanted to go on about the stock because that's just freaking. We beat TMG to that because I know they're going to talk about it. But that's just insane money. And like, uh. They might have mentioned it. I'm trying to think. Because I in the recent one, I'm subscribed to their Patreon. Oh. Well, then again, though, they're they might have talked about it on the bonus episode. I think that was the bonus episode I listened to, the one that you get just from Patreon. Yeah. But I still nonetheless, to that. I don't like. You may have gone a little more in depth. I think they just covered the fact that it exploded. Yeah. But That's maybe I don't. I I, I people that I don't understand hearing the them stock talk market, about it, but, but at the same time, you went more in depth. Yeah. Basically, what I know about stocks is you put in money mm-hmm. and you can sell what you have. Buy low, sell high. Yes, exactly. Because the actually value of stocks goes up and down. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I low key want to get into it. I just don't know like how. Yeah, you have to do research before, and mm-hmm. then like that's it's it's definitely something that you don't want to go in blindly, um, and then. Speaking of going in blindly, you're probably going to want to cl- plug your ears for this. Okay. Okay, this segment's going to be a little bit more PG-13. I'm just warning you in advance. I'm going to try my best to, like, keep it family-friendly, but I could yeah, not we're not avoid. we're not trying to be graphic, but Luke brought this up, <laughs> and I told him, no, save the rest of this. I need to hear this on the podcast. Okay, so uh, there's really not much else other than what I told you. So yeah. there was a candle that somebody sold, scented like... Um, a kitty. Yes, like a like a female body part. Okay, mm-hmm. nasty. First of all, yeah, it was scented like that, and people bought it. Second of all, here's what happened: <laughs> it exploded in someone's house. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, that's got to bring the house value down like at least eighty percent. That smell is never leaving. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly, I heard that, and I just wanted to vomit. It was so disgusting. And just, why would somebody all, buy that? All Luke told me, let me just preface this. All Luke told me where I said, uh, no, I need to hear the rest of this on air. He goes, dude, did you hear about the candle? And I was like, I don't want you to like take this down. But like, because they already screw us over <laughs> enough. But he's like, yeah, did you hear about the candle? And I was like. The what? The, the what? The, 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 the huh? And then I said it was scented. Like, he was like, no, the what? I, see, I thought it was just 
I don't even want to do that with my hands. I just thought it was shaped <laughs> like one. I was like, who is down catastrophic? Who is touching China <laughs> to buy this thing? I'm That's like, just so nasty, dude. Bro, t- breathe some oxygen. Yeah, I know. Open a window. Look People at a car. So gross, dude. And then it's like, oh, it smells like what? what? Get this. It's not the fact that it was like that and it exploded. The weirdest part to me, who put effort into making wax that they, first of all. It's their first, own. It's first, the, per, the person who made it. It's her own scent. It's her own scent. Bro. Who bought that? What simp bought that? It's so disgusting. Imagine dude. handing that candle over and being like. That'd be a good gag gift. <laughs> Yeah, the white elephant gift. The white elephant gift. Turns into a blood uh, elephant glyft, glyft, yeah. glyft. It turns into a red elephant gift, depending <laughs> on what time of the month. But <laughs> I just, anyway, I don't understand. I, uh, how do you like get your scent into wax? I, I don't. I'm sorry that was a little more PG-13. It's but a bit graphic. We're sorry. So disgusting. Oh. Absolutely gross. So I know somebody's eating dinner and just like put down a sandwich. Just, if like, you're doing homework, yeah. Uh, take a fifteen. You're not finishing your. <laughs> Go drink some water. Tonight. Actually, we haven't had drinking water podcast in like three episodes. Yo, I got Dutch. Hold on, let's get it. I, I was uh, I was hanging out with somebody. She mentioned that she was like, "You haven't done drinking water podcast in a minute." So we haven't. I thought we did it with Lauren. Ah, hold on. There we go. We got two of them. Ah. Ah. Hydrate or dehydrate, baby. And then I didn't do Ice. walls by myself. A I S M R. Dude. So honestly, I'm really sorry if there are awkward moments in that solo podcast, y'all. Like, doing it by yourself, I had a great time. It was, like, a nice learning experience. But it's it's so hard. I realized how much I rely on Kai to, like, bounce ideas and, like, bits off of. I would have been the same way. I would have been, like, uh... Because I used to have one back in, like, junior year. Yeah. And I would trick... Because the co-host I did it with left after a little... The podcast wasn't good anyway. Mm-hmm. So I'm not saying, like, we needed each other. It wasn't good. But... After doing, like, an episode alone, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, now I think I could do a little better. Yeah. Especially now that, like, I make TikTok or, like, I'll go live mm-hmm. on TikTok oh, yeah, often. Yeah, going live would definitely So, it's like, help. I know how to, like, kind of talk to myself in a way. And it's like, I could just treat, like, the chat like they're talking points. So, now yeah. I could do a better job, especially being better at this now. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not even trying to sound cocky. This podcast is listenable. The last one <laughs> just wasn't. Yeah. And we don't even get like crazy numbers, but regardless, I have, I have people. What I might even do too is like next time or so, I might post on our Instagram. Follow us on Instagram, CSB underscore Pod. Follow us on Instagram. Cheap plug, cheap plug. I might have like people like do like the question sticker or like just DMs, and maybe on my personal too. We'll see because not everyone follows the account, and I'll see like. I'll have you guys like leave us reviews because people legitimately leave like good reviews, even like strangers, like people that just follow me. I'm like, I don't know who you are. They're like, this is the first time I've well, sat down and listened to a podcast and I'm 40 yeah, minutes in. This yeah. is good. I'm people like, are like, this is the only time I've ever listened to a podcast all the way through. Um, I mean, our podcast isn't the best and there's no, that's the thing. It, but like, that's the thing. Episode is we're slapped and it's a good way to bring them in. That was a good episode to bring mm-hmm. them in. And then, not to mention for what? This is like our ninth episode, ninth, ninth episode. Nine. It's already been nine? I know, dude. We're gonna ten. Double I know. digits, boy. I know. That's actually sick. But regardless, like, we don't need fame or anything. We're having fun with this, but I don't wanna see. It's like that last through. podcast I did wasn't listenable. I can't but find his DMs. So it's it's low key impressive that you were able to do this, like, on your own. I had a great and time. If I, yeah, and if I ever had to do it, I'm sure I could. Like the only thing is actually I don't have equipment. Yeah, we rely on your equipment. You, you know how to edit <laughs> and all that. But if I ever somehow needed to, I think I could function. But yeah, you need someone to do it What's with. What's funny is you can actually use your mic from your phone using Anchor, today's sponsor. Oh, look at that. Look at that transition. Actually, we already put that in, but still. Uh, there's Okay, there's this kid named Aiden. who um, He has a podcast, yeah. The Aiden Approach, I think it's called. I think that's what it's called. I haven't heard of he, it, but good to know. It's he made it because we like because shut of our up. podcast, and he talks about us occasionally on it, and he DMs me a lot. Dude, talking about it, yeah. Yo, shout out! So Aiden. he's probably he's probably like hyped that we're talking about him right what now. What a homie! In in the first episode, do we know this kid? Like, do you know him? I don't think I I I, I feel like it could be something to do with L- LDS because if I remember correctly, he was following a lot of the same LDS people I that I was. Say, I wonder if he just follows like LDS TikTok, yeah. which you and I both kind of do. Uh-huh. 
But that yeah, but yeah, he like mentioned talked about us in the first Jeez. episode, and I think in the second one as well. Um, well, shoot, yeah, thanks, dog. And hey. he, he lives pretty close. So, Aiden, he, if you're listening, we love you. Jeez, dude, that's that's yeah. actually. I'm it, not even. I'm not even trying to fabricate this. That's sick. Yeah, <laughs> like what I'll the send. Heck? I took screen recordings of when he was talking about us because I was like, dude, this is so dope. I'll I send you them. I'll send you them later. I might, I might even give it a listen. I was hyped. But Aiden. yeah, give that podcast a listen. It's pretty yeah, good. Aiden, Aiden approach. Where where can they find it? Uh, it's on Spotify and everything. Spotify? He uses Anchor. Yeah. So um, but he uses um, Anchor. Yeah. So if you if you guys need another podcast to check out, the uh, collab. There's also. I'm trying to think of any other good podcast. The, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to podcast about podcasting. That's so meta. <laughs> That's so meta. It's, yeah. So, yeah, did you hear Joe Rogan the other day? Joe Rogan? Yo, did you listen to the recent Tiny Meat Gang episode? Dude, I don't need college. I have Joe Rogan's podcast. <laughs> Dude, he makes me a deep thinker, you know? Just, why, why isn't weed legal, though? He makes a great point. Why can't you just go work out and exercise? Dude, like, monkeys? why can't you just kill a bear? Why? The human body was able to do that. I don't know why us humans have fallen into this trap. Yeah, and the human body was also able to take a joke about 10 years ago. <laughs> and here we are now, so. <laughs> Frick it. Two years ago. Two, yeah, honestly. Dude, I miss growing up as a kid and just like. Oh, those were the good days, bro. <laughs> and now so much stress and just. Oh, I just looked at the. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing a beanie right now. By the way, um, I got this from Institute. We so love it's a it. Jesus beanie. I still haven't made up my mind if I like. I think I look. I think we I like, like how we, it looks. Okay, but it's not my style. Comment for sure. Instagram. I don't care where YouTube. Uh, leave a freaking Apple i like Apple Podcast review just for this beanie. <laughs> I love the beanie. If you haven't left a review yet, do it. Like our reading oh, yeah, those reviews please. is so hype. Every single time we read, you're, an Apple you're better at checking review. that than I am. But nonetheless, I still try yeah. to keep up with like our followers or when people like mm. reach out and marketing and things like that. But mm. also, I'm sitting like this because I spilled a little bit of fry sauce because I had to. Oh, that's what it was from the chicken tendy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You dip them in fry sauce. Uh, I had fries too. I dipped it in okay. ranch, but. It was I, honey barbecue chicken fingers oh, from okay. Dairy Queen. With, with, okay. It's well, not fast I have food. like great food. value chicken fingers that I cook mm-hmm. and I use great value. Everything I have is great value in my fridge. Every single thing except for my eggs. But they're... Uh, <laughs> you said your ex. No. Was like, <laughs> oh! Yeah, she, she's in my fridge. Yeah. Uh, he's in my fridge. I, wait, no. Um, <laughs> hey, yo, CC. Hey, hey, dog. But, um, <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> you know? Got him in 4K! <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo! <laughs> hey yo! I no, love the, the, the hey TikTok, yo! Click. The TikTok where he was like, I, I I know somebody already did a bit about this, but it was um, he's like, I love my mommy, like cuddling up on his girlfriend, and then his girlfriend was recording. She's like, yeah. He's like, I love my mom, and then he I looked at the you. video, and he's like, hey yo! <laughs> hey yo! Keep recording that. My boys are gonna see that. Oh yeah. I want to cuddles. I want to cuddles. I mean, hey yo! <laughs> I want to play Call of Duty. I'm good on COD. Hey. Squads, dude. Squad I low key thought Lauren was gonna like do that to me, like because mm. I don't talk that baby. We get cute. I don't yeah. care. I'll own that. What are you doing? I'm just trying to see if it'll. I don't think it'll pick up my voice. Okay, uh, keep going. Uh, anyway, um, I low key thought Lauren was gonna do something embarrassing like that. But even still, if she posted it, I'd own it. I'm a simp for her. It's all good. But this isn't the girlfriend hour. It's okay. <clears throat> What's funny is, so I made jokes about like me third wheeling the the podcast there, and then she, <laughs> we post you posted a picture like I'm back on the Instagram, oh, yeah. and she responded to the story and said, "Oh cutie," and then she said, "Oh wait, that was meant for just Kai. I'm sorry." And this is on like our page, and I created <laughs> I the Instagram. Yeah, I created the Instagram account, and so I messaged her. I was like, "How am I third wheeling on an Instagram account that I created?" <laughs> Babe, are you flirting with Luke right now? That's a my job. Oh, that was a good one. Ooh, that felt good. I've also <laughs> met, dude. This week, I've met a lot of dope people. Like, like it's so. There's this girl Shout named out. Megan. I don't. They don't listen, but Megan. I'm not gonna actually. I thought dox she her. went missing. <laughs> I'm so confused. Have you not heard of Megan? Megan is missing. Megan went missing. No. Some freaky like horror show. Oh, really graphic. I don't. I never watched it, but like people watch this stuff on TikTok. It's like watch, but like before and after. 
Oh. And it's like apparently like insanely horrifying. So not watching that. Yeah, I get I mean, scared I'm too good. easily. I'm good. I'm glad Megan's okay. But like I met this girl and then she introduced me to a couple of her friends and we just hung out and they curled my hair last night and it No 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 we no 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 I also watched the entire haunting of Hill House like the Hilling of Haunt House? I'm just kidding. Yeah, we watched the Hilling of Haunt House. We watched like eleven episodes in two days. Me and one of my friends. Whoa. My friend Morgan. We watched all of it. If you're on audio, it just why did they just go silent for five seconds? We were, <laughs> we're winking at the camera we're repeatedly. Winking dramatically. <laughs> this lighting's actually really good. Dude, I'm not gonna are lie. Blue. I can't even tell. But I look definitely stonerish with this. Except I could never see myself as a stoner. Like I was I was t- I was DMing one of my friends from San Diego the other Dude, night. Why are there two people just in the middle of the road? Hmm. They're just standing in the middle of the Oh, they're running now. Oh, what the heck? Did, <laughs> is that a Tesla? Oh, oh no. no. Looks like a that car road. just had to like stop. Why were they just standing there, dude? Okay. Well, we're trying to Provo, cross. Yeah, where the where the pedestrians are almost as bad as the drivers. I know. I was driving here and once I get to like American Fork, I'm like oh, <laughs> Here we go. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. The I fifteen is just a mess. State Street's worse. That's the thing is I up in Davis County, Street. it's not as bad. No, no, no. But I actually like you, driving up there. That's the thing is you the second you get to Utah County, it just feels so condensed and everyone's impatient. Because there's I got impatient. so many people. Oh, did the camera just shut off? Okay, I'll just pop it right back up. Yeah. There's so many people that live down here. It's wild. It's just such a huge population in such a small area. I mean, Utah has, what, 3 million people in the entire state? 3.2. 3.2. And, you know, Phoenix has more than that just in Phoenix. But, like... Oh, All right, camera's okay. back on. We're good. Yeah, the angle's going to be a little different. Sorry. But, um... Oh, I can... No, no, it's, it looks good. I, th- I like it like this. I don't... Here, oh, let's hold this. Um, That's good. But like, so comp- like comparing it to like Phoenix and stuff, it's really not that packed. But yeah. it honestly, it's it feels really freaking packed here. Like, I grew up in rural Escondido, where it's it, it was packed. Like downtown was really packed, but I lived pretty spread apart. I had a neighbor here, and then a neighbor here, and then just an entire canyon to myself in the backyard. Oh, wow. Yeah, a huge yard with a canyon, and then it connected to my grandparents' house who had a bigger canyon. And it was just like... This is bugging me. Hmm. Oh. But, like, up here, it's just... It's house, 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 house. That's the thing. House, 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 Utah doesn't have a big population. It's just condensed. Spaced out. The entire, The entire... Yeah, the entire population is, like, in a tiny area, and then you have nothing for 50 miles. That's, like, Tooele... And then there's literally nothing. Then there's Salt Lake. And then there's literally nothing when you're going east. And then there's Park City. Like, Mm -hmm. and like for me too, I'm driving, like Davis County has a lot, but it's like, Mm -hmm. it's suburbs. Like it's pretty chill. Yeah. But it's like, it's still like this stretch of like me to you is the most populated. So it's like. Oh yeah, the I-15 corridor. I don't, I don't live in the middle of nowhere north. I don't live up in freaking like. What's the, what's the place? Like Brigham City has nothing around it. <laughs> There's exactly. like little but tiny towns around But even like further it. north of that, I feel, it's, it's, it has like green or something in it. Anyway, I don't live like up there, of course. But <laughs> sorry, I just choked on my water. That's okay. Hmm. Um, so like I live in a decent populated amount, but mm-hmm. then it's like from like Farmington to like Bountiful, it's okay. Yeah, it's and then not Bountiful bad. to Salt Lake, it kind of empties out because if you're taking I-15. There's not a lot of houses. It takes you around like the, you take the that quarry and, and, and the stuff, factory. Yeah. But if you go like further west, I'm sure there's more. But then as soon as you get from Salt Lake County and you pass the city and you start touching Utah County, I'm like, it's insane. It just woof because it just gets so condensed. Yeah. And then there's just this central part of Utah between like Provo and like Cedar City that's just nothing. There's literally like you it's, drive through, you know, it's Parowan. just a half pipe of mountain and grass. Yeah. With like little tiny towns. There's Fillmore, Parowan, Scipio. Scipio. Scipio has like two gas stations. Yeah. It's literally two gas stations and like. Oh, and there's Nephi. But Nephi Nephi is yeah. decently sized, but it's still a small town. And it's then still there's in the, the middle of communities. Mm-hmm. There's, I was, when I was flying home from Phoenix, you, first of all, you could see Vegas way out to the left and it was dope. But then like you, we flew over the I-15 in Utah and there was just no lights. There were no lights the entire way. Until we, we turned over the I-15 to get into a position to land. Just to get into, like, line up and wait. Or not li- not li- line up and wait. What's it it's called? It's crazy. To mm-hmm. get into... I can't remember what it's called. I'm not going to ever be a good pilot. I am so bad at this. 
But yeah, we we went over it and until we got to like Utah County. There was n- pretty much no lights. I know it's it's nuts. You uh, San Diego people, it's kind of like driving through Julian, and then all of a sudden you're in downtown. Like there, Julian is like a really small town in San Diego in the mountains. It snows mm-hmm. there um, occasionally, and then there's downtown, which is insanely packed. That's kind of how it is driving from like central Utah to northern Utah. Gotcha. Okay. It's wild. Yeah. How long have we been going, by the way? Uh, 37 minutes. Okay, because so. there's that one in front, like an hour and a half. Yeah, it, it, I don't know why it puts that. Whoa, that sounded really. I don't know, I why, don't know why, why it puts that. that. Water. <laughs> <laughs> what are they selling? <laughs> They're chocolate. selling chocolates. What? What? What are they selling? How did we get here? Because <laughs> I, I went through the dad. I went through the squat 680. The, uh, and then. <laughs> 680, put it down. <laughs> 680. <laughs> you better try my new protein shakes. Back to the Joe Rogan. If you have small arms, you're not allowed to eat these. So I'd be screwed, is what we're saying here. Oh, same. Oh, one of the people that I met, her name is Heidi. She just absolutely flames everybody. And it is the best thing. She just roasts. <laughs> she has no she has no regard for like... Because you don't take anything she says seriously kind of thing. But like, she has no regard for if it's mean. She just... Let's it out, and it makes it? me so happy, dude. I gotta meet this girl. <laughs> Line me up against her. She's so her. cool. There was this kid on my for you page, and he was trying to make fun of alt kids. I'm like, because there's because people call it the Edgar cut. Where because if y'all know what waves are, like it's that hairstyle that where it's just kind of wavy, yeah, and then it cuts off. It there, there's this thing called the Edgar cut, which typically Hispanic kids kind of get. And it's like mm-hmm. Hispanic ghetto kids, and I don't. <laughs> obviously, I'm not trying to be racist. It's like literally a specific. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just, it's very <clears throat> common. Like it's it's like what you know. It's like how surfer guys like have that. blonde long hair. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just it's more of a stereotype. But like you know exactly. What. Nothing wrong with like those kids, of course. But yeah, it, people call it the Edgar cut. Kind of like how there's like a Chad style, and mm-hmm. just Edgar is just like another form of Chad or mm-hmm. like Jessica type of thing. Brittany <laughs> and Emily. Jessica, yeah, uh, Britannica. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Brickinsley. Oh my You're goodness. You're so cute today. <laughs> Freaking. B word. Look anyway. at <laughs> look at Bethica over there. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, El- Ella Milica. Bethany, I love you. Oh my gosh, have a great day. Look Cutest. at that. Hoe. Look at her walk around. Her butt is so small today. Is that a vein in her calf? Ew, freaking <laughs> just cankles. Oh. oh my gosh, is she pregnant? Oh my lamp. Did she? Is her Jeff is boink? her anklet frayed? Oh. Ew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways. What was I talking about? You were talking about uh, Chad haircuts. Oh, yeah. Edgar yeah. haircuts. This kid has like an Edgar haircut where it's just straightforward and it gets... Li- it's not like a Caesar cut where it's kind of messy. It just gets cut. It's lined up and it's just chopped. And I don't... And it's like kind of faded up on the sides. This guy <sighs> had that, I just, but then he had like... It kind of just looked like he went... Ugh, except for the very front. So it was just kind of sticking out all wonky. And it kind of looked like my hair, if you've seen it, where it's just kind of messy. Mm. Except for right kind of here, this hair you could see under my hat, that was just perfectly straight. So it looked like he had just like that straight lineup, <laughs> and it kind of just went, oh, hey, a sport, to his hair. And he's like <laughs> trying to roast like emo kids, and I go, bro, you got a Furby on your head. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> I've already dwetted it. And if you go to his page, too, that's all his account is. He's like trying to be edgy, mm. or like he thinks he's dope, but everyone's like, bro, look at your haircut. Like That's such, you can't. And he'll you say can't like, have a haircut. He'll, he'll say like, you have less followers than me. I'm like, bro, you have 40k. Chill out. Like I have 20k, yeah. but like 40k. What ego? Like, bro, I have 1.2 million likes. You have 600k. <laughs> like. Like, and that's not even worth flexing. But it's like this guy's like bragging to people, and I could easily just. Okay, well, <laughs> you probably got okay. a lot of years from musically. <laughs> okay, and. Anyways, uh, how can yeah. my man have a haircut looking like he got struck by lightning in the back half of him? He looks like the reverse of a mullet, like party on top, business nowhere else. On honestly, <laughs> he's got like spikes here, and then he's got the little bit of like kind of formal. <laughs> I could like <laughs> okay, I could try to show you. I'm not okay. gonna show the whole podcast, but just just so you could see what I'm talking about. You see this? <laughs> it's like what in lined the heck? up. Almost being slow, it's lined up perfectly, and it kind of just goes. Foot, foot that looks like side. the dude from um, 
it oh, looks like a Furby. From, is it is it Lil Rask? No, it's a uh, it's a uh, no, it's not Lil Rascal because huh? he just has like the what's what's that kid show with the uh, Rugrats? The kid with the orange. It kind of looks like Chucky's head. Chucky Chuck, the Chucky, doll. Chucky is no Chucky is the the, cr- the kid the you're scary thinking thing. Of. No, Chucky is from Rugrats. Okay, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. The orange red hair, hair. pale. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's him too. Mm-hmm. Love Chucky. My Wi Fi is horrible in here, so it won't work. That's fine. But you you kind of got a taste of what I was talking yeah. about. So like roasting people, like I have no actual problem with this kid, but like people will make jokes about this kid's hair, and this is uh-huh. all of a sudden now he's all over my for you page, and all he does is just he's just bitter towards everyone. <laughs> so people will make fun of his hair. Yeah. But this kid's not like big. <laughs> I don't expect any of y'all to know who I'm talking about. But <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't expect you to know. I wouldn't expect you to know. I'm kind of simple, it's no big deal. cool story, bro- cool story, bro. Listeners, oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap it up here in a minute because yeah. w- on our uh, story, you guys said you really liked the forty-five minute episode. So we're pushing forty-five. But yeah, uh, it's been good to be it back. Felt so good to have just us two oh, and finally wait. be back for real. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Football. We're gonna get into a little bit of the sports hour. Go ahead. Um, Pat Mahomes is going back to the Super Bowl with the Chiefs. He won his. Th- no, I was going to say his third AFC championship in a row. He's been to three in a row, but this is his second. Where the heck did the Buccaneers come from? Camp? I, I thought they were like seven and four. They were, but that was with Jameis Winston. And even still, their team isn't even <clears throat> insanely talented. But then they got Tom Brady in the freaking offseason. That's the only reason they're there. <laughs> Not to mention they have three elite receivers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and a Tom solid Brady. tight end. And a, two solid running backs and a good O line. So they have a really good offense. Their uh, their defense is cool. Like that's the thing is their team's actually okay. It's, it was shocking to see that they were so average. Yeah. But then Tom Brady gets there and now they're back in the Super Bowl and their record even wasn't even insane. They were like eleven and five. That's like how the Lakers were and then they brought in LeBron and all of a sudden they were like. No, the Lakers really were pretty bad. bad. The Lakers were pretty bad. Oh no 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 they weren't. But the Bucks. Good. That's the thing is oh, the, Bucks, the Bucks pretty the good. The Bucks were like. People thought the Bucks were like garbage. I'm like, no, they weren't garbage because okay. they had decent coaching. I've never followed the NFL. Oh, I have, but I haven't for like four or five. They years. They weren't like the Jets. Now people, okay. people were like, the Bucks came out of nowhere. I'm like, no, the Bucks have always just been, ugh. yeah. Like they haven't been garbage, but they were never good. They're except not, for okay, in like yeah. 02 when they won a Super Bowl, but they haven't even made the playoffs yeah. since then until now. Okay, but now they're back in the Super Bowl. It's Brady versus Mahomes. Oh, I'm. Ugh. I mean, I actually don't mind the Chiefs. I'm a Broncos fan. I should hate the Chiefs. I but like the Chiefs. It's the fun. Chiefs are cool. Andy Reid, LDS, BYU bred. Mm. He's a lovable dude anyway. Mm-hmm. Pat Mahomes, he's cool. Pat Mahomes is a homie. Uh, uh, Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes. Lauren's a Chiefs fan too. So Dog probably. joke. And Dog I just joke. hate Tom Dad Brady. Jokes. Yeah, I hate Tom I hate Brady. Tom Brady so. so I'm going to cheer against him heavily. So this year I'm going to be a diehard Chiefs fan just for that game. All right, well. Oh, and did Sunday, you see? Right? Hang on. Yeah. No, it's the following. This Sunday's oh. the Pro Bowl, which no one will. Plus, it's like okay. done over Madden this year. Oh, my gosh. Which they're already playing all year anyway. Why are they? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But then, yeah, in two Sundays. Okay. We got the Super Bowl. And then also, real quick, do you see McGregor got clocked? I heard. I did Dude, not watch the got, fight. But I didn't watch the fight. I wanted to, actually. I but, wanted to as well. I got invited to go, but so, I was like, and there's too oh. many people. I'm kind of, because I'm still being pretty careful with COVID. Just got trying you. not okay. to be in huge groups and stuff. And no, there were I a get lot that. of people going. So I was like, eh. I know. I won't really I go. Know. Like, my family has get togethers, but I don't want to be around them if I know someone's sick. Yeah. And if someone's sick, they don't go. Mm-hmm. So the only time I get in big gatherings <clears throat> is with family, but we're all safe. Yeah. Like, we're, none of us are sick. If I was sick, I'm not going to go. Hmm. But yeah, uh, Conor McGregor. Got completely rocked against uh, Daniel Poirier, and he took the L too. I was impressed. Yeah, like he took. He it. was he very it. humble. I wanted. To, I kind of wanted to mention that he was like, "Yeah, honestly, like I can't even. I can hardly walk." He came out of the fight. Yeah, with and his he, suit on. He was on a single crutch. He, he shook the guy's hand. He was like, "You broke my leg." He's like, "Yeah." And then he was like, you "Respect." Broke my freaking leg. Huh. Yeah, but even in like the press conference, you like, broke my leg. You <laughs> I let you broke me lucky charms. I can't even feel my legs. You broke my legs. You kicked them so hard. Oh, I let you. It's like a hike legs. from the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, crazy a fighting weekend. And a couple weeks ago too, it was the weekend he released the solo episode. There's, mm-hmm. there's this kid Max Holloway. Not this kid. He's he's good. But uh, he 
he did this thing. I wanted to kind of talk about it because what he did was nuts. He was just winning. I kind of posted it on my Instagram story too. I don't know if you ever clicked on it and watched, but I'm kind of getting into fighting, but because it's cool. This kid, not this kid. He's 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 well known. He's like a good boxer, Max Holloway. Mm-hmm. He is delivering just these insane shots. He starts talking to the commentators, like I forget what he says. Like he's like, I'm the best. I'm trying to prove myself, and he's not even kidding. He just goes, I'm the best. Look at this. Boom. And just nails the guy. And the guy, like, oh, stumbles. He puts on, just go look it up. He's a performer. Holy crap. Not even that. He wasn't even trying to perform. He was just dishing. It was just single handedly. <laughs> like, it wasn't like an eight second knockout where he just, it's like this guy was literally deflecting shots and talking smack to the commentators. I'm like, that's like Khabib, where he'll just like, be talking at the opponent while he's beating the absolute crap out of him. Just he beat will, him like, I kill you. You like this? You like this? While he's just beating him to a like, pole. I kill you for Russia. Boom! Yeah, you're gone. I wrestled bear as child. You are merely nothing. <laughs> I crush you. You're but merely man. You are merely man. I'm Russian god. But, yeah, I don't know. Crazy weekend in sports. Definitely. Oh, also, real quick, Jazz, nine in a row. They were eight in a row until last night. Nine in a row. We're catching up to the Lakers. I can't wait to see the Lakers and Jazz. You smell us? We're coming. We're coming for you. The Jazz have never been like this good in my entire life, and I really like it. This kid's a freaking Laker fan. He's got LeBron in 80. I trust me. I was a Laker fan before LeBron. No, I trust Don't you. Don't worry. You, you I've were, been a Lakers fan my entire life. Never. You like, were a Lakers fan hard, in like the Nick Young era. I was, uh, oh gosh. And then back when they were <laughs> went like basically 0 and 80, it was very sad. Yeah, That's the when they were just were trash so for like bad. six years. Oh, I oh, never followed them also, super closely. Also, but. speaking of the Lakers, yesterday was it's been one year oh, yeah. since Kobe passed. Moment of silence. Genuinely made me very upset when he passed away. I was I very sad. I, I cried. I did cry as well. I remember the moment. Let's get into that real quick. Where were you when it happened? I don't remember. When you got the news. I don't remember. I remember vividly. And that's I, the thing. I remember I saw it I on Instagram. I didn't like but. Kobe very much. I respected the frick out of him because it's Kobe freaking Bryant. But I liked him more after his career. Not mm-hmm. to mention he dropped sixty on the Jazz yeah. in his last game. And then after I di- after he died, I was like, man, I wish he dropped a hundred. Like, mm-hmm. but, um, yeah, I remember where I was. It was my cousin's mission call, like farewell party. We were all just gathered at her house. We were just chilling. And then my my cousin checks Twitter and he goes, Kobe Bryant just died, and the whole room just. <laughs> That's the effect that man had on the world. Mm-hmm. To make an entire, I saw it off of like it was. I maybe it was rap. I saw it off of Instagram. When <laughs> Y'all I was rocking with Kobe, <laughs> and I just I was so upset. I I I mean, my brother, my oldest brother Bryant, is a huge Lakers fan, and his name is Bryant. So like growing up, if there was a newspaper headline that said like Bryant scores fifty or like Bryant w- wins game, you know, my dad would cut it out and give it to him. And so, like, he had a he's a huge Lakers fan, like, insanely big I, Lakers fan. Yeah, I hate the Lakers. I didn't like Kobe because he was kind of a d bag. But at the same time, after his career, he became super cool, mm-hmm. very motivational, amazing father. He was always at his girls' games, always uplifting people. So it's like I I ended up respecting him after he retired. I'm like, okay, he's but he just kind of had this odd ego, and he kind of thought he owned the place everywhere. So it's like naturally you're not gonna love someone like that unless yeah. you are a Laker fan. And it's very similar to why I don't like Tom Brady, but I still was like, I cried like uh-huh. that night. I didn't cry on the spot, but I didn't believe it. And he's like in a helicopter crash, him and his daughter Gigi, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And that was kind of the kickoff of 2020. It was kind of funny. Yep. And thus started the worst year probably probably no. since nine eleven, I'd say. Since so since two thousand one. You could say. I mean maybe the housing. And nine eleven happened the like recession. at the end of the year. Yeah. Oh, it was kinda weird. Anyway, yeah. Um but enough sports, enough depression. Rip Kobe. Go jazz. Freak go the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> go Laker Nation, baby. <laughs> Going for two in a row. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. I gotta go to rehearsals right now, so I gotta bounce. Good to be back. But I missed you guys. I hope you guys like this episode. I feel good about it. So follow us on Instagram. Where can they find you? Luke Yeri underscore. All right, underscore Nodiac. It's my first name backwards. All right. Nodiac. We love y'all. Deuces. Peace out, guys. <laughs>